Good morning. It is Thursday, which is an unusual day for me to be streaming, but um, like I mentioned in the previous stream, uh, this week is a little different. I'm streaming uh, today, Thursday, instead of tomorrow, Friday, so uh, there will be no stream tomorrow, but I do get to stream today, so it works out. Um, yeah, so where was I at the end of the stream yesterday? Uh, so yeah, so what I'm working on now is to implement the functionality to add an exercise to a workout, and that should be, that should be the final piece of the, kind of the, the, most basic um, features of the fitness tracker. So it's creating a workout, adding an exercise or exercises to the workout, and then recording the results. So after I get this done, then the, I guess the, the most basic features needed for the workout tracker will be complete, um, which is exciting because this is part 60 um and so it's it's been a while i mean 60 60 streams let's say i do four a week so what is that 15 weeks i mean i guess i could go back and look when's the first one when was the first one This is taking me a while. Uh, okay, it's back one. March 18th. Yeah, March 18th was part one. Part one was March 18th. Wow. Okay. So this is March 18th. We're now in September. So April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months. Almost six months. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, but I mean, I've only been, I guess I've only been, I mean, I streamed these probably on average, maybe hour, hour, 15 minutes. I, sh I should figure that out. So, I mean, really this is. I mean, maybe I have 80 hours into this project, which is, you know, two weeks of full-time work. So that's not bad. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me get back into it. So this is, this is where I left off, um, yesterday where I have to implement, where I have to implement this function, um, where I actually add the exercise and and I had I was thinking about how to do this. So what? I have a Yeah, I have the update workout. I have the update workout. I guess I would add it to that. Um but that means I need to update all of the workout exercises too. And that's going to be a little tricky. So this, I think this is what I concluded is update workout with, or maybe I call update workout with exercises. Yeah. All right. Let me work on the front end first. Um, so I need to store this exercise somewhere. Um, where does where does the edit page get stored? So if it's edited, if this is changed, where does on change happen? Props.date change, props.time change, props.title change. Okay. Or 
workout page, workout edit page. So date change, workout exercise change. Workout exercise change. First of all, why do I have two of these? Workout exercise change. Workout input. Okay, so that's what that's for. If the exercises changes, I, I, but there shouldn't be, this shouldn't happen though. Workout input, I guess it still needs it. I definitely don't need two. Workout exercise change. These are the exact same, right? Okay, well, I definitely don't need two of them. <clears throat> I guess I should build it just to make sure it still works. Well, that might break for something else. Nope, it still works. Look at that. All right. Um, so I have... Man, this is so messy. Um, original workout title. Workout title, original workout title. Original workout date, workout date. I almost... <clears throat> I guess I would need original workout exercises and workout exercises. If I'm following workout exercises. Yeah, but see, I already... What are these? Workout exercises. Oh, I don't use this. Okay. Well, sweet. Okay, now where does original workouts title right here? Oh, set original workout title. Where does that get set? Right here. Reset original workout. Oh, okay. Set original workout title. Set workout title. Set original workout title. Set workout exercises. Set original workout exercises. And what do I need? Workout with exercises dot what? What is what is the um might be exercises? Hold on, I'm gonna have to actually check.
exercises, yeah. Yeah, it's exercises. Okay, um, that's fine. Does that work out? Okay, edit workout page. Cancel workout page. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. And then where, where are the other things? So I need... Bridge workout title. Ridge workout title, workout exercises, ridge workout title. Okay. Now set ridge workout title. Set, get that word, get that word. Right here, set original workout exercises, that's set. Okay, cool. Um, okay, now I need the function set workout title. That's what I need. Set. Workout title. Workout title change. Workout exercise change. New workout. Let new workout equal workout with exercises. New workout dot title is equal to new title set workout title. Workout time change, new workout, set workout date, set workout with exercises, new workout, workout date change, workout, set workout date. Okay, so I need one of these. Uh, workout. Exercise add. It's not going to be an event. Um, but it is going to be an object. And I'm not going to have a result. But I don't think that's going to matter. I don't think that's going to matter. Um, this is going to be sloppy. Yeah, I already know this is going to be sloppy. Um... New workout title. How do you add something in React? I think I know how to react. Add to array. Dot push. Option two. Uh, 
this is what this is what I want right here. Okay, none of this, none of this. Um, is equal to oh, where's it? Dot dot dot. Um, New workout dot exercises exercise. Set workout exercise. Is that what it is? Workout exercises, yeah. Oh, you know what I need? New title. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let new exercises equal This is what I need. Um, workout with exercises, not exercises. Exercise. Workout. New workout dot exercises. New exercises. Set workout, yeah, new exercise, this is what it is. And then set workout with exercises. New workout. Yeah. That didn't break anything. Nope. Okay. So, what I should have now is when I add an exercise. So, where, where are these? Okay, so these. Oh, I do have the results. No way. I get the old results. I So, okay, that's not going to, that's not going to matter. Okay. So, what I should see is this one, which has four, should have five after I add something to it. Wait, that okay well the ad doesn't work yet okay one second gotta hook it up um workout exercise add where is it edit page edit workout edit true blah 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 workout title change date change workout exercise change workout exercise add Oh, let's just do exercise add. Exercise add. Well, I don't like this. And and this is, I mean, this is kind of the point of why I'm kind of learning how to um, do front end development. Like this is the whole point of the stream or one, one of the main points of the stream is to learn how to um, use react in front of development. But one of the things I've learned over, um, over these six months is that the way I have this set up where every, all the state is maintained in the top component is just messy. Like I could have done a lot of it. Like I could have dumped a lot of this down to the workout component. I should have, and it would have been a lot cleaner, but now I have to worry about passing state back three components. When the, when the, top component, the workouts component, shouldn't care about any of this. The only thing the workouts component should have passed down really is the one thing the workouts component, what, what should the workout component should have passed down? Probably nothing. Um, 
maybe the workout ID, maybe that. Because the the workout page can do all the stuff it needs to do. It can it can query it can query everything it needs to query. So like like where I say this is just a tangent because I'm frustrated about how I've written this and I'm not going to change it now because it would reworking it would take forever. Um, but I'm just annoyed because I have to think about moving state across components that it should never have had to deal with. Um, when I open the page, when I open the page, I get, I have this function. Yeah. Open workout page, get workout with exercises. And I store this in this top component. This could have been called, this should have been called in the workout component, not in the top component. Like that's like, this just needs to, there's no reason why the top component needs to deal with this. Um, but that's just an aside because now I'm stuck doing things I don't like doing. Um, uh, where's the edit page? Here it is. Exercise add, workout, exercise add. Um, right here is... Add exercise... Add exercise change, set exercise, exercises value. Oh. Add exercise change, set exercise. So now I have this thing, set exercises. So I'm trying to, okay. And this is where it's going to get even complicated because I'm trying to actually fix what I did, but it's just a, it's just a patchwork of things. Um, but that's fine. I know what I need to do here. So this expects an array. Uh, exercises. Yeah, this is broken now. New exercises, new exercises, new exercises, new workout. Okay. Um, I'm just going to double check that that's how to do it. React, combine, two arrays. Or it should be just... Yep, okay. That's exactly how I wanted it to go. Um, add exercise submit. Props dot exercise add exercises add exercise Hold on, I need to make sure I'm doing this correctly is this is the modal add exercise add exercises show add exercise Add exercise. Show add exercise on high close edit. Exercises. Exercises. Yeah. Exercise change handler. Add exercise change. Add exercise change. Okay, set exercise. No, no, no. Add exercise submit. No, no, no. That I had it right the first time. I had it right the first time. It's just going to be one. Add exercise submit. Close that exercise. Yeah, I I had it. I had it right the first time. Add exercise submit modal. Add exercise. Okay, and now the button needs success on click this. What's the other modal? 
submit submit workout handler button on click props that submit worker okay that's what I thought um oh whoops nope exercise change handler Add exercise change. Submit, add exercise, submit. Is that what it, add exercise, submit, yep. And then on click. I'm sure I broke something, but I, I need to test it out now. Okay, console one, blah, 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 edit. Yeah, I don't care. All right, so if I add exercise two, that broke. Record.exercise is undefined. Where? Workout input. Record.exercise is undefined. Uncaught type error. Record.exercise is undefined. Oh. I didn't know I could do that. Workout input 89. Workout input 89. Record. Exercise. Yeah. This is what's going to get me in trouble is that I don't have records for these things. I just have the exercises. So I have to create the record. I'm not going to have the record. I'm not going to have a record. I can have a fake record and create a fake record. Um, record dot exercise dot name. No, I have, I have all of this. I don't have result. That's what I don't have. I don't have the result. I mean, I could hard code a result. Record dot exercise. Um, <clears throat> record exercise is undefined. It shouldn't be undefined. I've said it. So what's happening is it's trying to display this after I add the exercise and it can't because well here let me actually I need to check the components okay so I have zero four zero four add and it just breaks uncop type error if ever occurred and work out it record exercise is undefined Record exercise is undefined, but I can't even see it now. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's see if I can at least log it. There we go. 
console.log. Add exercise. Let's just start there. See what we can find. Actually, um, yeah, we'll do it this way. Let's all get set, add exercise, add exercise two, add. Calories, exercise. Oh, I'm not creating a record. Okay, I think I know what's going on now. Okay, this is this should be an easy fix. Um, what it's storing is it's storing records, which have an exercise and a result. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Yes. Oh. Let new record equal, this is what I need. Um, new exercise. Exercise is equal to new exercise. And result is equal to, and now I can just create this. Okay, what does the result have? It has um, ID, workout ID, exercise ID, calories, distance, reps, time, weight. These are all just... So what do I need? I don't need any of this. I guess I would have workout ID and exercise ID. I, I'm not, it doesn't matter. Those don't matter. Um, because I'm going to have the workout ID, I'll have the exercise ID. I mean, I guess I, I could add them, but everything, calorie distance, rest time, weight is the important part. Um, calories, distance, reps, time, weight. Those are the important parts. I don't think I need the other. I don't think I need the rest of it. Yeah. Okay. That should fix it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man. What if I had another one? That's so cool. All right. I've got it. Okay, now I just need to save it on save, update it. Because, all right, so I've added one, four, and five. When I save it, when I save this, those are going to disappear. Uh, huh. Maybe if I update it? Okay, now they disappear. Okay, I keep them. Ooh, that's gonna... That's not good, actually. That's not good. His on save, it doesn't refresh it. And I need it to refresh it. 
save workout page, update workout. This function. Set workout page false, set workout page true. Update workout doesn't do what I need it to do. Update workout. Workout dot then. I need, I need update workout to return the workout so I can set. Get workout with exercises. It only calls this update workout, which is weird. Update workout, save workout page, workout ID, date, title. Update workout only does that. This is going to have to change. This is going to have to change because I can't do update workout. I'm going to need update workout with exercises. And I don't have that. What is update WE? Workout with exercises. Workout action uh, set on reload. No, I'm gonna need update work eight add exercises. That's what I'm gonna need. This isn't gonna be good enough. And I'm gonna have to get it again. Um, I'm gonna have to call open wherever I have edit workout page. Now that's all fine. Cancel workout page. Open workout page. This is this is this is what I'm gonna have to do. This is actually even annoying. Open workout page. But I can I can change this. I can change this to just be an index. That's easy enough. I'm going to do this right now. Where is open? Open workout page. Okay. Um, event. Um, open workout page, event.target.get attribute, I think it said value. Event.target.get attribute value, okay. Workout page. Event.target.get attribute. All right.
Okay, so that still works. That still works if I click on the title. And this is just to verify that there's nothing here. If I, uh, why does that not work? See, I, the, the reason I did that was, for whatever reason, title, this title thing wasn't working. When was it not working? I, I don't know. But I, I added this specifically because if it's not in there, clicking on the title, I couldn't actually get it to work but now it doesn't seem to care yeah maybe when it was maybe I had it as a different thing before okay well if I don't need it I'm not going to use it If I can click on it without it, yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, that's fine. Um, so yeah, now. Uh, open workout page. Open workout page. Uses the index, which is what I'm gonna need to do. When this all gets reloaded. So, what do I have? Workout page, edit, submit, I think is the function I'm going to need. Edit workout page, save this thing. Okay, this is where, uh, change this. Um, need to include exercises, so const. So, I need what? I need update workout add exercises and that's going to need to be yeah needs to call get workout with exercises to refresh exercise array with IDs with accurate IDs. Reset workout, reset original workout. Set workout, set workout, set workout. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. So the only thing reset, set workout page edit false, set workout page true. It doesn't. This is very odd. Is update update workout updating workout update workout workout then set error error catch set error what need what really should happen is after this um get workout with exercises should be called.
I guess I should do the... Whatever. After this, um, get workout with exercises. Um, workout.id. This is what it should be called. All right, <clears throat> I've got my plan for the next stream. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, okay, hold on. Get workout, workout dot ID. There it goes. Um, all right, I've got the plan for my next stream. This is what I'm going to do next time. Um, yeah, and then that, I mean, that should be, that should be it. I think I can get this all done next stream, and... That should be the basic app. Um, man, 60, 60, 60 streams. Okay. Um, I may, like, once I get it working, I may, I may put this down for a while. Uh, the other thing I want to do, um, this, this stream's going to be a little, um, short, but that's fine. I'm going to, um, I'll talk for a little bit instead. Um, I want to go back to my password manager that I was working on last year. Um, so this is like really, really long time ago. So like last year I was streaming a lot and then I had to take a break because stuff was happening. Um, and then I got back into it earlier this year, I guess back in March, um, with this new thing, but I was working on the password manager and... I mean, I've, I've come a long way in my, um, just in my front end development since I was working on that. I think that was the first thing I worked on when I was trying to learn how to do front end development with react. Um, and so like, like the stuff I was doing, um, with that was just like outdated, outdated stuff. I think I was using classes instead of functional components and, and that kind of thing. So I wanted to go back to that app and effectively like just redo it um i think i'm i've got a lot um i've got a much better idea of how to make it work and there's some libraries i want to use like I, I was using i was using some pretty difficult like i was using the encryption libraries i was using to encrypt the password data on disk um it was kind of at a lower level where I was like generating the keys and stuff. And I actually found a library that I like better. Um, that'll make that part a whole lot easier. So the back end will be a lot easier. So I think after I get this done, I'm going to go back to that and kind of just try to rebuild the password manager. Um, and the, the next step. So, so at this point I know how to build functional uh, I guess user interfaces, so to call like functional user apps with the user interface. So, so my background is all back end development, data processing, that kind of stuff. So I've, I've never done like, this is what I'm doing on stream with front end development is kind of my foray into it. Um, 
so I, I've figured out how to do a lot of the functional front end development. What I want to do next is f like get better at the um, the I, I don't even know how to say it like the 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 appearance the the just make it look good the design part of it. Um, so like most of my here, I'll just show you like this app. And most of all of my apps are, you know, these, you know, black and white. Um, and, and, you know, I, I've, I've added some stuff. So, so like I can look at apps and understand like, you know, oh, bold the name, you know, you know, have a, a kind of a minimal style for some first for like a subheader. So bold the header, have a minimal style for the subheader, um, that kind of stuff. But if you look like this, I mean, it looks okay, but it doesn't look great. And so just by adding like, like for, for example, like one thing I could do is I could add different colors for all of these. Like maybe, I don't know if react has react. Bootstrap. I don't know if react bootstrap has this stuff, but like on the forms, um, input groups. Yeah. So I don't know if it's possible to change the colors of these of these things maybe it's not but like one thing that would make it look better is instead of having this gray is to actually have um is actually to have you know add, add some color to it um maybe it's not possible to do that but that seems like something that should work um Input group. Let's see. Uh, bootstrap. Input group. Change color. Text. Yeah, like this background color. Like if there's a way to change that. Let me see. Yeah, like that. Look at this. Yeah, changing this color. Um, changing this just to add some color to um, to the app. And I think that will that'll just make it pop a little more. Um, like I, I've I've been kind of looking at the apps that I use, um, and I mean, most of the apps are, are, they're black and white apps, but they add these little color accents everywhere. And that just makes it pop out a little more. Um, so when you add color to the page, it, it just, I don't know, it just feels better, um, it seems. And, and so like like the, the layout isn't necessarily that different. Like the way I've laid it out isn't that different. You know, I have the thing up top, the, you know, the, header up top, the, the, the kind of the dock navigation dock at the bottom. Um, and it's really just like these little, little accents of color that, that make it look really good. So that's, that's kind of what I want to work on next. Just, just adding in, trying, trying to make the design a little better. Um, just make it feel like a, you know, not some kind of hacked together project, but like, you know, like it feels like a real user app. Um, so that's, that's kind of, kind of my goal, uh, next after I finish, after I wrap up the fitness tracker, at least the basic functionality of the fitness tracker, um, I may put it down for a little bit and, um, put it down for a little bit and go back to the password manager, re just redo the entire password manager, um, implementing all of the stuff I've learned over the past year. And then, um, and then, uh, what was I saying? And then trying to make it look nice. Hey, Viva, how's it going? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. Um, I might, no, that's, that, that's too far away. There might be a point later where I might have to take a break from streaming for a few weeks, but 
if I can take all of my streaming stuff, I might I might not have to. Um Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, Viva, you came at the uh, the end of my stream. I was just about to get off, so hope you uh you have a good Thursday. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Um so yeah, have a have a good Friday, have a good weekend. Uh socials are Tyler Travesty on Twitch, Twitter, and GitHub. And if you search for Tyler Travesty on YouTube, you'll find my channel where I upload all of my streams. So if you can't catch them live, you can always go watch them later. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, question. I'll see them. I appreciate them. Appreciate the follows. Appreciate the subscri the subscribers on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll respond. If, if you have a comment or question, I'm happy to respond. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Sorry, Viva. You came in at the very end. Just wrapping up. I hope you have a good day.